All right. I had to talk about this. Gibson just increased the prices for pretty much all their guitars, which is kind of crazy. And it's the amount that really bothers me. I'm actually a big, huge Gibson fan. I really like their guitars. Let's look over here. Let's look at the, the Gibson library. So we're looking at new Gibsons. We're looking from prices low to high. I was going to buy a new Gibson for myself because when you're an adult, you get to do whatever you want. But I was going to buy myself a Gibson Les Paul Classic. So I wanted to buy this Gibson Les Paul Classic. And I was going to get it in a super sweet honey burst. And I just loved the way it looked. And I was checking it this morning. And they increased the prices of this guitar by $300. And I actually saw this last night. But. It's $300 more today, which makes me sad. And you know what, what's really funny is you can actually see it right here for $2,000. And then you go up here and you change to the red color, which it is down there. And it's $300 more. Like, okay, Gibson, we need to talk. This, this, is, this is uncalled for. $300 in one night, like maybe 100 bucks, maybe. but. I did the math, and I'm not a mathematician. I did the math. That's a 15% increase, okay? You might say, well, you know, there's inflation. You know, there's inflation these days. Yeah, but inflation's maybe 5 or 10%, maybe, okay? Annualized. I, I, I listen to Peter Schiff. That guy talks about inflation all the time. It's not 15%, okay? And I'm really bummed out because I really wanted to buy this guitar. And maybe I can talk to a musician's friend and get it for the $2,000 that it says it down here. But um, I, I looked, and it's not, just, it's not just this guitar. It's actually a lot of other guitars. So let's go back. So it's actually a lot of guitars. Let's look at the Gibson Les Paul Studio. Honestly, them to increase... This one by a hundred bucks, I actually don't think that's bad. And for fifteen hundred dollars, I actually felt like it was kind of a steal. I actually snagged one of these wine red studios, and I gotta say, it looks beautiful in person. I think it actually looks better than the smokehouse burst because in person it's actually a lot darker. But we're getting off point. A hundred dollar increase on this guitar is kind of kind of expected. I I, I get it. Okay. Um, let's just talk about this tangerine burst. It looks like absolutely disgusting. Okay. Um, a hundred dollar increase on this guitar is actually, I think that's fair market value. I mean, it's a Gibson, so it's going to be a little bit more expensive, but a hundred going up a hundred dollars on this guitar, I actually think is fine. Totally fine. But now let's go to pretty much any other guitar. Gibson Les Paul Jr., Let's be honest, this is so overpriced. <laughs> this ju these juniors should not be this much. It, it's one pickup. You, you know, the burst isn't even all that great. I, I will tell you this. They are good guitars, but they're not worth $1,600. Maybe, you know, it's a brand thing, whatever. The, the Gibson SG Standard, they actually increased this by $200 because it was actually at the same price of the Gibson Les Paul the Gibson Les Paul was $14.99, and so was this, the Gibson SG Standard. It was $14.99, so that's $200 right there overnight. I don't know what you're doing, Gibson. They increased this bass by $100. That's fine. Actually, Gibson basses are really good. I have two of them. Um, let's talk about this Gibson Les Paul Special. I don't know. It seems <laughs> it doesn't even have a stop bar tail pace, and I know... People are going to say that's how they used to make it, whatever. Now, this Gibson SG Standard, this used to be $1,700, or maybe it was $1,799. It's up $200 overnight. That's how they do it now. It's pretty nuts. And even this Gibson SG Modern, up $200. I was thinking about this. I mean, this is a distant future kind of thing. But Gibson 70s Flying V, up $200. Let's go over here. Okay, the Explorer is up two hundred dollars. Um, even even these special SGs are up two hundred bucks. But three hundred, 
$300? I mean, come on, Gibson. Come on. $2150. Do it. $2150. But $300? Oh, my God. $300? Maybe $2200, but uh, $2300. It's such a big jump. It's such a big jump overnight. Now, the standard used to be 2500 and now th this is 2700 this only went up 200 bucks but the classic come on gibson come on it's inflation man inflation everybody i i can't believe gibson went up so let's go back to some of the low end gibsons cuz that is what we're talking about so they didn't increase the prices of this, but let's be honest, these shouldn't, these shouldn't be $1,000. These should be like maybe, I don't know, $850, $850. That would be a bargain. $850, I could totally get behind that. Um, even though they increased their prices, they did release these sweet, sweet uh, – raven models look at these blacked out gibsons this looks sick if i played metal i would totally totally snap one of these up look at that oh i mean gibbs gibson does some cool things i mean this e this uh this sg looks awesome if if it were me and i'm being kind of particular here i would do no fretboard markers on this that would look absolutely badass all right, we got to get back to the point. Okay. Just everything's up. Even the tribute's up like 100 bucks. These tributes are uh, good value, but Gibson, just make them glossy. Make, if you made these glossy, you, you don't know how happy I would be. If they made these tributes glossy and, and they increased the price to like $1,500, $1,600, I don't need binding. I don't care about binding. I just, I just want this sweet, sweet Les Paul model. But I gotta say, the studio is understandable. The SG may be sixteen fifty, but I will tell you this: it's a damn shame that Gibson increased this by three hundred dollars. I wouldn't say you lost yourself a customer, but I mean that's such a big price increase overnight. I was checking it last night and. Like I said, if you go over here and you look down here, it just, it's, <laughs> it still says 1999. And do you know what's the slap in the face? That was, that was the color I wanted to get. Honey burst. God. And you'll even see the uh, Gibson Les Paul standard 60s, 2,500, 2,500. Gosh. Okay. I wonder how much this jumped up because this is like $3,000. Oh, it's the same. It's bizarre. Um, okay. So anyways, basically what I was trying to say with this video is, I don't know if all y'all know, but Gibson just increased their prices by a substantial portion. And do you know what was really sad? I was actually thinking about getting this Epiphone J200 and it went up 50 bucks. I mean, it's kind of, I actually play this in person. It actually sounds really good especially for the, the $500 range. And I kind of, I kind of get that, that they increased it by $50, but it was like a double whammy for me because I really wanted to get this classic Honey Burst and I also wanted to get one of these, but they're both, I mean, between both of them, it's like almost $400 increase in price overnight. Anyways, uh, tell me what you guys think. Is Gibson out of their minds for increasing the prices this much? All right, thanks.